What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you were looking at the uh, 7, what is it, 574. I had made like a panorama of this and I was going to show you guys. And when it comes out, it's hard to get the thing together perfect. So what I'm going to do is this all deserves four different videos or five different videos. Every single one of these pictures has some amazing things in it. Starting with just a symmetry of what looks like blocks and look like uh, basically a whole area that's just been destroyed by earthquakes cataclysm something you see these cut blocks everywhere they've got angles they've got uh perfect cuts in different areas um 100 i mean 90 to 90 degree angles we're talking also curved cuts it's amazing some of the stuff that's in here and uh how perfect some of it is just even looking at something like this uh, and also some of the other little things out here like if we take a oops it's kind of locking up a little bit but there we go if you take a look at this one right here see how this this perfect uh, is cut there and down there like it, it gets actually shaped off into like a uh, six-sided piece there I mean that's pretty amazing um, this right here has a cut that's a tool cut I've seen I mean we've seen these either that or running water came down through here and it did this but it looks more to me like a tool cut and it seems to be they we see these out in uh, Egypt a lot like uh, there's a couple of uh, saw with uh, Brian Forrester he's got a pretty really awesome channel on here he does uh, art like ancient archaeology type things he's a lot on the times he's on the ancient alien show um, he, he shows these marks that look like they're big huge drill marks that were, were put into the things um, with the scale I'm not 100% sure on this one but definitely some things going on here with uh, interesting here it looks either like a uh, some sort of ruin um, possibly some sort of animal or something that's been buried there for years and years of just coming up more and more cool looking weird just shapes here we've got all sorts of perfect spheres perfect uh rocks how many times do you find a perfect square rock next to a perfect sphere of rock and then on the other side find another perfect sphere and another box that has an opening in it i mean we're talking the, the cat's out of the bag nasa what the hell is this excuse my language you know i don't like using bad language on here i don't much but Look at this, ribs or something up here. This this one's crazy. Let me show you where I got it from. This is one of my favorite ones so far. Here it is, and, it, and it's in 574, and it's got a whole bunch. This whole row we're going to take a look at over the next week or, you know. Like I said, I haven't been doing many videos the last couple of days. I took a little break off, but I'm back in the saddle now, and I want to really – let's see. Let's do if we do the auto color, see what happens. You know, if you watch my videos, I like that auto color button a lot. You know, and that gave me too much of the shadows. Well, there's already the shadows there, like I thought. Let me take it, uh, you know, let me try this one more time. Let me see something. What about auto tone? That brought it forward a little bit. Now I wonder if I can bring it back with the auto color. That's a little bit better. It still kind of blends in. It, it, I swear NASA or the rover somewhere along the way is adding this, this color of uh, this nasty color. Another perfect circle up there I didn't even notice earlier. And what looks like a, a long cylindrical object there, a tube that was cut into some sort of this, uh, whatever this is up here at one time. So let me step backwards. We'll just do each little one at one at a time. That's how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to have to do it, uh, which I don't mind. So let's, let's start. Let's take a look over here. Let's take a look at some of these uh, the rocks. Because a lot of this stuff over here looks to be kind of hidden into here. And we'll go all the way. We'll just do this piece right here. All right, so image. Auto color. No, we don't want auto color. Let me just do image exposure. Let me play with the gamma. See if we can come up with some gamma here. Darken it up a little bit. And once you start darkening it up, it's a little sometimes it's a little bit easier to see what's there. See how? All right. I'm really interested in what's right here. Like what in the world that is, and also these things like here. How it comes up off of here, and it, it's like a I can't, all I can say, is this is all, it's like a honeycomb type deal here. I mean, it's just all over this planet has this stuff. And, uh, and I'm wondering, are the, you know, Martians this big? I'm starting to wonder when I look at some of this stuff. Like, maybe there were huge ones at one time. Maybe they're little ones. Uh, maybe nobody, you know, I love my subscribers. I get so many crazy ideas from them that, that aren't crazy. I just think in my head, I'm like, you know what? Why? Why not? That, that could have been. Who says it wasn't? But, uh. If you look really hard here, you can see that this looks like a little piece of machinery or something right there. Then again, you have these, uh, let's see if we can't just focus on this little spot right here. Because there's a lot of interesting little things in there. Brightness and contrast. Maybe if we drop the brightness down and the contrast up, we can pull some of this stuff out a little bit. Ooh, that's getting better. Look at that coming out. 
Okay, so here's the perfect circle there, and you can see that it's got that perfect square next to it. Um, up here, this looks like so, just a piece of something that's there. Look at that. It's got two pieces that follow each other down. There's a piece coming off of it here. What, what in nature has you ever seen anything like this? This is just pretty cool, especially not here on Earth. I've never really seen some of the stuff like we're finding up there. It looks like what my buddy Terry calls it, a junkyard. <laughs> it looks just like... Uncle Jake's junkyard. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say other than that. That it really does look like a junkyard. I've heard him say it many times, and I'm, every time I come here, we get new pictures. And the rover pictures, the new ones coming back, are, are getting pretty blurry and ugly, and they're really blended into each other. Um, but this piece right here too, I was really interested in because this looks to be having uh, some sort of block to it. But you can see how it, it's. It's shaped. It's, you'll see. Watch. Let's, let's see if we can't do what we did with the other one. Auto color. Auto adjustment. Let's do the exposure. Bring up the gamma. This, I don't know. You know, it looks like it's got something out here in front, like a, something that's white, and it goes up to it, like it's doing something to it. Now I've been told that there are little baby white aliens on this, and then they're ghost white, like really ghost white aliens that live underground. And, uh, and it, it's like, <laughs> don't you love when you, you like start meeting somebody new? Like I got a new girl I'm talking to. Ann and I broke up for the people who don't know that, or don't be on my Facebook page. And, uh, just been talking to a new girl I've known since high school. She's a hottie. But anyway, I guess I shouldn't say that online. Back to it. So check this out. She doesn't care that I've been Mars geek either. You know how it goes. That's part of the stipulation. If you want to be with me, you got to be with a Mars geek. <laughs> anyway, guys, all right, so here we go. Let's back to what I was doing here. Let's take a look at this piece right through here, because this is pretty cool. This stuff up here looks like some sort of ribs of something. God knows what. Let's see. Image. Auto color. Let's see if we can pull them out. See that? I mean, look at that. How, let me make it a little bigger on the screen. You know, I always forget that people watch these on their phones. But I, I'm on a 20 cents, like the 27 inch iMac or whatever, 26 inch. It gets really blurry on here. So look at that. How they're just like grid patterns. And they're perfect grid patterns. And, I mean, perfect. And then you've got these uh, just what look to be strange things that come up out of it. It looks like. I know. I, I, people say, well, you know, that's just rocks. You know, don't you ever go anywhere outside, take pictures? I do. I go hiking. I live near, you know, the beach. I live near Aztec Island, not far from Skyline Drive and the Appalachian Trail. You know, it's. I've been all over. I'm on the northeast of Maryland. I've been out to uh, our northeast coast. You know, on the east coast of uh, United States. You know, we have so much here in the United States. I've been to Arizona. I've been all over, and I'm. More or so, I say this place looks more like Arizona than anywhere um, that I've noticed in the States. But up here we have another perfect sphere, what it looks like. Um, you really can't tell the angle, but from right there it looks pretty damn perfect to me. Excuse my language. Um, and let's keep on going through this thing. So I, hopefully you guys are downloading it as of right now. There she is again. Ooh. Okay, check this. This is what I really want to take a look at because this looks like a perfect box or something. It's got something coming out of it. And over here there's more... Look at these perfect, look like platforms. I mean, it looks like this stuff was just dropped and beaten up and thrown around. And let's see what we come up with here. Exposure, gamma, and we'll keep moving. Look at that. So this almost looks like a broken down piece of whatever it is. And is this stuff could be metal for all we know. It doesn't have to. It just looks like rock because of the colors they assign. It. And the fact that it's been on Mars where you get dust storms all the time. And here's the the... the the like, crowning jewel here. What in the world is this? And this is what I'm going to ask everybody to, to comment on below. If you if you can't, if you don't comment on anything else, what in the world do you think this is? If you never commented on one of my videos before, tell me. This looks like it's got two or three balls, like spheres, one or two there, and it's encased in something. Comes up and over. It, this almost looks like this is a little alien face. It's got two big big eyes and a mouth, but I don't know. That I can't. That, that is just getting beyond comprehension to me i love it it looks cool and uh but i can't figure out what exactly it is so this is one i love to hear and this right here too is neat look how it's just coming out it's buried with everything else that what makes me think the place is just buried like there was an earthquake or something happened um look a perfect spirit this could be just a tippy top of things who knows what's under all this stuff um here you got like a step down right there at 90 degree angles it's 
it just keeps going and going and going. No matter where you look on this thing, you can find more and more and more stuff. And like I said, just the just these perfect circles and this box, and then you get over and there's more perfect circles over there. Uh, this like right here, yeah, I noticed that one. That was a, here. There's the the box that. Then you've got all these shapes. I mean, what is this stuff? Come on, comment, hit like. You guys know what to do. Um, this, I mean, this looks like a uh, perfect. This just like a column. Like it would have been stuck up somewhere and been perfect around, you know, in that six sides. And who knows? Maybe it was sitting on one of these big, huge slabs, like this one right here that runs, you know, perfect across. And again, up here, you've got another one that runs with it. I mean, very interesting to me, guys. What do you all think? Comment below. What's up in the sky? 37. I miss anything on here? I most likely did. Okay, here we go. Let me check right here. I, mean, I was trying to get off these things. I always want to leave you guys, uh, you know, 9 to 10 minutes in the video. Everybody says it seems to be pretty good. But I know a lot of you guys like the really, really long ones. But uh, blowing up tonight. People with the iPhones are probably looking around at their phone like, oh, what is that? This is interesting here, just how this all junk down here looks like it's just kind of withered away there. Perfect uh, angle. Look at just various shapes and stuff like that. Just pretty cool. Not sure why it gets so blurry in some of these areas, but if you just look the last video did, it's a really good uh, picture on how you know, NASA blurs stuff out. Um, and this this right here is part of another one. The One of the first videos I did a little while ago, you can see this in black and white. But this is actually uh, on this, uh, where is it at? Wait till you see some of these other videos that we're going to make here. These are just some of the pictures that we're going to be making the videos on here soon. I was looking for the one here. It was on this one right here. This is the perfect shape right, right through there. Perfect looking platforms on here. Here's this other piece again up at the top. But this one even this one even has some more stuff. But see that that three ball looking thing, whatever the heck it is, and then uh, just once again more and more what seems to be perfect squares, perfect triangles, perfect cuts, um, Martian life in the past. What's up, guys? Take it easy. Much love. What's up in the sky? 37. Come visit my website www.whatsupinthesky.com. 12 minutes. Not too bad. Later.